let's make a little detour to something called cell respiration. During cell respiration, what happens? Uh, glucose, we also know as food, okay, is going to be broken down. It's broken down into carbon dioxide and water and ATP. <clears throat> and what's going to happen here is cell respiration is an electron transfer process of full of electrons from food molecules to oxygen is going to release energy to make ATP. The opposite is going to happen in photosynthesis. Electrons are going to be boosted uphill and added to carbon dioxide, and this is what you have to remember. The electrons, the ones that had all this energy, okay, they're going to pass this energy in a boosted uphill, are going to be added to carbon dioxide to be able to produce sugar. The sugar will be glucose. And that's how we end up with glucose. Remember, one of the main products of photosynthesis, or the main product of photosynthesis, is going to be glucose. How do we do it? Electrons are boosted uphill, okay? You're going to be added to these electrons that have a lot of energy. With energy, are boosted uphill and added to carbon dioxide to produce glucose. And if I go back here really quick, during cell respiration, we're seeing the opposite. Glucose, like I said, is going to be the product of photosynthesis. And it's going to be broken down into carbon dioxide, water, and ATP. And we use, in cell respiration, when we make ATP, ATP is going to be our energy currency. This is what cells use as an energy source.